Okay, here we are on May the 6th, it is, of 2023. Beautiful spring morning, blue sky, calm winds, and I'm sure you will be seeing the black flies <laughs> hovering around me here. We're spraying white pine weevil. Um, it's right on schedule. We just uh, experienced a week of heavy rain, actually. It rained almost every day, and finally we have a window here of clear weather which you need, you need several days of drying after this uh, spraying. So what we're doing is uh, with this Solo Backpack Sprayer, the 425, I guess. I got a new wand this year. Probably gonna have to be in here. This is, uh, Solo makes this, it's an eight foot carbon wand um, that telescopes, it has a joint in the middle. I've got it fully extended so that I can reach clear to the top of these Pine crop trees. That, uh, these trees were uh, planted 2016. Uh, this is an excellent soil down here, and you can see the the leaders on these trees are three feet long. Look at how much the tree has grown in the last two years, six feet at least. And it's earlier in the. We, this is the I guess the fourth year we've done this weevil spray. We started when the trees were about breast height very easy then because you don't need this long wand it gets exponentially more difficult as the trees get taller so i think with an eight foot wand and i can reach i'm five eight i can reach up about six feet so i can get up 14 feet it's not ideal but so that tree's maybe 12 13 feet tall i'm gonna i'm gonna just wet down the leader with this uh bifenthrin spray we noticed we lost a couple trees last year. I think the weevil didn't attack the terminal, he attacked the, uh, the chute below, which I sometimes haven't been spraying, so we're now hitting that. This tree here uh, is done. This one here, I think I've already sprayed, and you can see it's even taller. It's actually off the reach of the wand, but I was able to get up there and, and with the sprayer and actually get some material on the leader of that tree. This is the last uh, year we're gonna be able to spray that one. So that's got its saw log. Here's one year. You can see, let's see, one, two, three years ago, we lost the terminal of this tree and we did the corrective pruning. So the side uh, branch took over, you can see it's shorter. But the tree's rapidly recovered. Um, and you know, that as that tree grows taller, it will, it will, that defect will be even less apparent. Let's see if I can get up here. And, Get up, get up as high on this one as I can. Let's see. Boy, you got a lot of leader to wet down here. Big tall ones. Okay. Should be good there. Uh, it's probably time to come in and start taking up some of these laurel branches uh, for silvicultural pruning and also booster rust control uh, this year. They're getting awful vigorous, so we don't really need them now. Okay.